Hello, this is J Roach82 coming at you from Hammond, Indiana. And I just want to say that I'm super psyched. As you can see, I got glasses now and stuff, so I kind of look like an indie rocker with a beard. Um, a lot's been going on. Um, we're actually planning to go on vacation in Louisiana in July, so I hope that this will actually be the best video I do. Yeah, right. Like, that's really going to happen. I don't do good videos. This is webcam. I don't do, I only do webcam videos. I don't do other videos. I mean, I might do like a regular video one day and stuff without the webcam, you know, with a like um, camcorder. But until then, that's not going to happen. So forget it. So anyway, um, today I'm going to talk to you about a movie called Ninja Champion. No, this is not no WWE Lay the Smackdown Ninja Wrestling Federation movie. It's just a name of a movie that's like really awful. And it stars Bruce Barron. And in case you don't know who Bruce Barron is, he was the guy in the Ruggiero Diodato movie. Um, um, what was the name of that movie? Um, Raiders of Atlantis. And he was like the guy who took the money and got stabbed to death. So... And he's got a mustache. He's he's got a mustache in this movie. But anyway, uh, the movie starts out where this woman gets raped by a group of masked men. Now, before I get into this movie, let me tell you what there. Okay, have if you ever seen the movie, um, okay, picture. Picture I spit on your grave with a bunch of ninjas in it. And you will get the gist of what Ninja Champion is, okay? It starts off where this woman gets raped by a bunch of masked men. She gets revenge by acting like a... Because they're in a diamond smuggling operation or some shit, she decides that she's going to play the part of a diamond smuggler. Um, and she smuggles diamonds for these diamond smugglers and stuff, which makes absolutely no sense. Meanwhile, we see that the Interpol agent, played by Bruce Barron, he uh, is trying to unravel who raped this girl and also try to get rid of some ninjas who are evil. And these are the dumbest ninjas I've ever seen. I mean, seriously, dumbest ninjas. Especially we got Pierre Tremblay playing a ninja. That guy, he, was, he wasn't even good in Ghost Ninja, let alone good in any movie he's ever done. Why would you let Pierre Tremblay be a main character, a main villain in your movie? He's only good as the second guy. We've seen him in Ghost Ninja the second as a yoga guy. Well, Tai Chi guy. He got killed in that movie. So there you go. But anyway. Anywho. They got a whole lot of stuff going on. She kills all of her, the guys who raped her. She catches them and kills them. But there's a twist. Oh yeah, it's like an M. Night Shyamalan movie, only for retards, okay? There's a, there's a twist. Twist is that she gets killed, alright? Now get this, she gets killed, and she's got a twin sister that looks exactly like her, who decides to go after the rest of the guys who she didn't get because she got killed off earlier in the film, and she gets even with this guy who looks like a Chinese version of Dave Batista, only retarded. There you go, ball-headed too. Ball-headed version of Dave Batista. Retarded Dave Batista, but anyway, retarded Chinese, retarded Asian ball headed Dave Batista. Okay, that's that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, that, that's how I'm gonna put it. Um, anyway, um, the movie goes where the white ninja played by Bruce Barron is going around killing off all the red ninjas because they're evil. In case you, well, okay, let me get straight. Okay, the white ninja is going around killing the red ninja. Okay, so. Uh, when I think of red, I think of blood. So, pretty much, it's like the blood's against a white guy. Uh, isn't, don't they have white members in the, in bloods? I thought it was all, like, I don't know. I don't know that much about street gangs. Of course, I never hung around street gangs, so I wouldn't know shit about them. But I know, like, the bloods, they, they probably have white guys in there and stuff, along with the black guys. But, no, these guys are all Asian. 
Okay, these guys are all fucking Asian. It's like Asian bloods. It's like, oh yeah, we the Asian bloods. We kill you, bitch. It's like, what the hell kind of crap is that? And like, the main funny part of this movie is the part where Pierre Trimbley gets it up the ass by a sword by uh Pierre, by Bruce Barron. And while he's playing with rings. And seriously, he thinks it's Lord of the Rings here. He's like playing with these big gigantic, like, you know, circus rings. Um... Well, yeah, circus rings, you know, those big round things that, like, you, you put together and you can take them apart. He actually gets stuck in one of them and gets a sword shoved up his ass. Yeah. So, great impalement scene. Except for, they leave it to your imagination, they don't show because Godfrey Ho is not really into gory movies. So, he's not going to show, like, a full assault on the anal with a sword. So, you ain't going to expect that. But, hey, who am I kidding? Uh, what do I have to say about Ninja Champion? Ninja Champion is by far the worst movie you'll ever watch. Seriously, you can spend your time watching zombie movies and other types of movies and watch this hunk of shit. Seriously. Um, watch... Hell, watch Lord of the Rings for crying out loud. Watch all the parts of Lord of the Rings and forget about this movie. You should only watch it if you're bored and need something to make the fuck fun out of. Okay. Well, remember, if you see a flying spaghetti monster, stick a fork, stick it, eat it, good. Also, if you had some kick and chicken.